Hello, this is Scarlett with Model Edge. Today I'm going to go over power poses and I want to cover this topic specifically addressing the models within the ME community. A working model needs self-assurance and confidence. But these poses can also benefit anyone else within the ME community, say our fashion designers or our photographers or anyone in general, um, whether you're in the ME community or not. So these poses are good exercises to do before putting yourself in an evaluative situation. For example, a job interview or a showcase, things of that nature, where you need a boost in confidence and assertiveness and optimism. So. Before we get into these exercises, I want to cover a few things. Um, your thoughts and your feelings impact your body language, right? If you're sad, you're a little more hunched over and you probably have your hand on your chin versus if you're happy, you're smiling and you have a big grin on your face and you're just so much more open. Um, and you're more, uh, people feel it. it, it radiates, and it's an energy too. So, power poses are the idea that body language affects your thoughts and your feelings just as much as your thoughts and your feelings affect your body language. So say you're not feeling very confident for the runway or for a photo shoot, or to be more general, for a job interview. Um, instead of hunching over or holding yourself with your arms crossed, or doing a very, these are all weak poses, putting your hand on your neck or something of that uh, nature, where you're just shrinking yourself and making yourself smaller. Um, while you're in the waiting room to be seen by the interviewer, um, you want to be expansive. Uh, these are exercises that make you feel very powerful and that's why they're valuable. Um, a few examples of power poses are maybe something like this. You don't want to do this in the job interview, of course, but um, maybe in the waiting room. Or you can go to the restroom and do more uh, dramatic power poses that will boost your confidence and your assertiveness and your optimism by triggering these thoughts in your mind. So two more dramatic power poses that are very effective are, um, I'm going to move this chair over and stand up for the sake of demonstration. You put your hands on your hips and feet width apart, hip width apart. And this one is recognized mostly as the Wonder Woman. If you can stand in front of the mirror in the restroom before your job interview and do this pose for a minute or so, um, it'll really change the way uh, you see yourself. Also, I'm gonna move the computer back for sake of demonstration. As I said, you put your hands on the counter, maybe where the sinks are, on the sink counter. And if you do this pose, this is a very, very powerful pose. Um, people that are in positions of power uh, have done these poses, and I'm sure you've seen photos or footage of them doing this. So practice these exercises before these evaluative situations to boost your confidence, your assertiveness, and your optimism. Um, we wish you luck. Let us know how these exercises work for you.